Hey, this is Rene. Welcome to another video. And today I want to talk about the daily grid trading expert advisor again and probably um, for the last time because today I want to add the stop loss and take profit mechanism. And um, yeah, we will see how this works out. So our program is so far, um, it's, it's already ready to trade every single day and we have a uh, opening time and a closing time for the trades or orders. So we, we did all this in the previous videos, so I will not explain everything again. But in this video, I will add a take profit and a stop loss. So what we do here is, I think um, I want to like define the um, uh, TP and SL as a percentage of the current uh, account value. So we can say TP percent as a input parameter. We can say 0 0.5, for example, and as L percent. Doesn't really matter what we set as a default value because these are input variables and the user is able to change them. Um, so two more double um, input variables. And then we go into our on tick function. And what we have to do first is we have to figure out how far all of our open trades are in profit or if they are maybe um, uh, losing right now. So we have to loop through all the open positions and add their um, profits together. So we have a loop already. So what we can do here is we can take this loop here and cut it from here, um, place it somewhere here. Whoops, this was not right. So place it somewhere here. And um, of course, put it a little bit to the left side. And now um, we want to run this loop with every single tick and not only if the time is above the close time. But, um, if the time current is above this time end time, we can still close the open positions. We just have to rearrange like the if statements. So we will take this if statement from here and put it inside the loop. Okay, so now we will loop through all the open positions with every single tick. So if the time current is not greater or equal to the uh, end time, we can assume that the trades will not be closed. So what we do here is we create a profit variable and we increase the value of this variable. So this is a, um, this plus equal sign means that we want to add something to this value and we want to add um, position, get double, position to, uh, profit. We want to add the profit of this position and we can even say position uh, get double, position swap. We also want to add the swap costs. Wait, no, this doesn't really make sense because we are not holding positions overnight. So forget about this. So we, we just add the profit of all the open positions together. So after we finish this loop, this profit very, very well will hold the um, total amount of um, profit all of our positions have. So we can check <clears throat> if this profit is greater than the TP target. So first of all, we can calculate this TP target or profit target. Uh, it doesn't really matter how, how you want to tell it. Um, and we say account info double because account info double works pretty much like position get uh, or or like um, I think we used, did we use symbol info double? Yeah, we use symbol info double. It gives us information about the current, uh, about a uh, specific symbol. And we can also use um, account info double because it gives us information about the, the currently um, selected account in your, in your MetaTrader. So we can say account um, balance and you can also choose equity. It pretty much, doesn't really matter, it's just personal preference, what you like more as a um, basis for this calculation. And we multiply this with a TP percent and uh, divide it by 100 to get like the actual value. Um, and then we have a loss, 
target or maximum loss. And this is account info double, account <clears throat> balance multiplied with SL percent divided by 100. And now what we, the, the only thing that's left, we have to check if profit is greater than profit target. In this case, we want to close all the open positions or if profit is smaller than minus maximum loss. We have to put this minus here because this calculation would give us a positive number and this doesn't really make sense. So we have to put the minus here because we want to check if the profit is negative and below this like maximum loss value. And then we also want to close. So here we see that we have this close operation two times. Whenever you have something like this in your code, it often makes sense to um, create a function for this. And we will do this in a second, but first of all, we can add to our comment here. We can add a new line and we can say profit. And here we can print like the open profit. Um, you can do it like this. You should use this double to string function because it will turn your double value into a string value and it will cut the digits after the decimal point at the uh, after two digits after the decimal point. So it looks a little bit cleaner in the in the chart comment. So we now have to write this close function. And what we can do here is um, I think we can just copy this block here pretty much. So just copy this because we will need a loop again and now go to the very bottom of your problem, uh, uh, program and write something like close uh, uh, and delete everything like this. And then we paste the block here. So what we do here is we loop through all the open positions again we do not check if the time current is greater than the end time. We just close, no matter what. So if we find any open position, um, we want to close it. Like this. And then we do one more thing. Because we now only close the open positions, but there might still be open orders. So what we do here is we write another loop. Um, and we do the same thing for the open orders. And here we only have to change some things. Instead of positions total, we use orders total, of course. Then we get the order ticket instead of the position ticket. So we say order get ticket. The rest is pretty much the same. So you can see most of these functions exist for positions and for orders. And then, then we say... Um, trade order delete we provide this order ticket here and if we were able to delete we get uh, or we want to print something in the journal right so we say order number order ticket was deleted like this so now we have this function here that we can use to close all the open positions and now we can go here and say um, maybe we want to print something so we know what event caused the position and or position closing and order deletion. So we say uh, reached profit target like this maybe. And then we say close and delete everything. And here we can write print. Um, here we can do the same pretty much, but we print uh, hit maximum loss. Or reached, I don't know, whatever you like. And then we write close and delete everything again. And um, yeah, since we have this function now, we could also, of course, this is just like what you like more, but you could also do something like this um, time end. And then you, you, you also like close and delete everything using this function. So I can do something like this and say, um, reached end of the day and then you can delete it here pretty much. So this would also be okay. Okay, so now we, we did all this to 
have a TP and a SA. So now I go to the MetaTrader 5, open the strategy tester. You can do this by clicking view strategy tester. And then you click on overview, visualize. You can select the expert advisor, daily grid trading. You can make all the uh, settings here. So you can use the input uh, parameters here. So I can define, I want to use stops and limits, the lots and the TP and SL percent will be defined here. And yeah, let's just give it a quick run and see if it works. Um, I think it should work, definitely. If I didn't mess it up here. So let's let's wait a second until everything is loaded. Okay, so here we see, whoops, we are trading. Let's wait until we see some open positions. Okay, this is not really working, I see, because the profit in the upper left corner is not updated. So let's have a look at the at the program source code again. So the variable is created, then we loop through all the open positions. Position get ticket. I mean, this should be correct. Um, and we should not have to select the position here, but I mean, we can check if this makes any difference. Um, position select by ticket, position ticket like this. Let's run the program again. See if it works now. So this will load again and then we will check if we now get like the profit of all open positions in the upper left corner. No, I think it is not working. It's not updating. No, it's not. So let me check this one more time. Are we using the right program? I think so. Daily grid trading. Yeah, this is correct. So we have this profit variable. Position select by... Ah, okay, I get it, I get it now. Because this um, comment is inside of this uh, if um, statement. So we will have to make some adjustments. I move it outside of the if statement and Yeah, to get the moving average trend, we also, we can make it a global variable. Um, Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe my uh, inputs for the TP and SL percentage is too big because um, like 1% of 10,000 would be, no, it would be 100, so this should be fine. Maybe we even hit, yeah, we reached the end of the day here, okay. So we will have to take care of the uh, the journal there because there are too many informations printed okay so now we get the open profit this seems to work let's check if positions are closed yeah this is annoying we have to take care of this first so since we um, created conditions that are true pretty much the whole time we will have to take, uh, have to take care of this so we can check if we deleted uh, some positions so what we can do here is we can go to our close and delete everything um, function and we can say we create a counter, for example, and we return a integer value. So we can say whenever we close something, we increase this counter by one. And also if we deleted something. And this is um, good for us because now we can return this counter from this close and delete everything function. So whenever we call this function, it returns the amount of closed positions or deleted order. So we can check if we closed anything 
And in this case, we, we um, print the message in the expert journal. And if we did not close anything, we do not print anything. So then it will not be so annoying and print um, like this information with every single tick. So we do the same thing here and here, of course. So cut this if, if this is greater than zero. So I have to check this here too. Then I want to print like this message. So compile this, run the program again, and now let's see if this worked. So this will um, load again. Um, it will just take some time and then we will see if the latest adjustments work. So okay, now we can see in the upper left corner, we always get the current open profit. And now we have to wait until until the positions are closed. Um, they were closed here. So we reached the maximum loss and we should see it in the history now that we made a, um, uh, a loss of 100 euro. Um, yeah, this, this is working. So we should also check if we can hit the profit somewhere. So we should check if this also works. So these were closed at the stop loss again. Yeah, I think we hit the profit there. So um, reached profit target, correct. So we can check here. Yeah, we made a profit of 50 euro. So um, this seems to work. So we now have a um, mechanism that, that gives us a um, profit and loss uh, yeah, mechanism. So we can add a, a percentage of the account that we want to win or lose. And the program then um, yeah, works uh, like it should. So this is, um, I think, it for now. So now we have pretty much everything in this program that we need. Um, and yeah, this is a fully working program right now. So I think um, I will make another video later on and um, make some backtesting now with this program. And then we can see if we are able to make some profits or if we can make some small adjustments to make this program profitable. So I'm just um, showing you the complete code one more time. So if you want to copy it, you can just pause the video um, several times and just copy the complete source code here. Make sure to copy the execute by and execute cell function and also the functions down here, like get MA trend at level and close and delete everything. And by the way, you can always use this function in any program. It will always close all the open positions and delete all the open orders. Okay, hope you like uh, these little um, additions to the program. Uh, and now, of course, if you copy everything, you are also allowed and able to make your own testing. So, so just use it in the strategy tester and see if you can find some profitable settings or if you are able to adjust it a little bit more to find um, a profitable setting for this program. Um, so yeah, for this video, um, I'm done. So thanks for watching and we will see each other in the next video. Have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.